Hi everyone, I hope you are doing very well. Today, I bring you a video that we personally touch our hearts. A few days ago, it was three months since Balu is no longer with us, and we wanted to remember him by means of a little adventure that we experienced last summer, still in Spain, shortly before moving to Costa Rica, an adventure in which we had a very good time that we remember with great affection and that for some reason we never uploaded it to YouTube. So today, and in order to remember our black boy in a beautiful way, we are going to share this adventure with you. The adventure consisted of taking a nice kayak ride with the dogs. Rebecca would go with Baloo and I with Buster. So we prepared the car to load all the junk. That car that I miss so much, by the way, here in Costa Rica, because although it wasn't a pure all-terrain, it was a vehicle with certain ground clearance and four-wheel drive. Two things that are really needy here in Costa Rica. And that huge house that we had there in Spain, with plenty of land to having all the rescue dogs we could keep. I miss it more than the car, but hey, it will come. Everything will come. We are working on it. We headed to Cortes de Payas, which is the name of the place where we were going to sail the waters, a place that, unfortunately, suffered a terrible file in 2012 and that now looks much more arid and dry than before. The problem with the fires in Spain, and well, in many parts of the world, is increasing a lot, and we really have to do our part and do everything in our hands to avoid or at least reduce what more than we can the climate change. I wanted to do some aerial shots as we were reaching the water, so I asked Rebecca to drive her, which wasn't so easy because Rebecca hated driving manual cars and that Nissan was a manual one. But she was emboldened and she did very well. And we were able to make some very nice aerial shots. <laughs> summer arrives, the heat is real. So when we arrived, the first thing the four of us did was take a quick dip to cool off a bit and now to prepare the kayaks. Those kayaks are also something that would be very good for us to have here. Although it is true that the topic of crocodiles scared us a little, but in the end, where we will sail would be mostly in lakes and as far as I know, these are crocodile free, so shouldn't be a problem. So let's see if we can get hold a couple of them to recover those good habits. It would be great, just pick all the things that we want to Spain to have here, but you know, some things are just impossible or so difficult to do it. <laughs> Well, and now it's time. We set out for I don't know where, looking to just enjoy the day and find a good spot at some point where we can dock and enjoy a nice lunch with our doggies. We also really enjoyed sailing, which by the way, was the first time for Baloo, and he behaved like a true white water sailor. I have to mention that the other day I found a picture of myself in this same place. A picture from 2007, 15 years ago. And I still have that little hat and more importantly, I keep using it today. 
Isn't it unbelievable? I really love this hat. It means a lot for me. A lot of adventures under that hat. After exploring the place for a while, we finally found a spot that was very well suited for docking and above all, canning disembarking. Well, it was not very easy to find a place that meet the logistical requirement we needed, because we wanted to eat in the shade, and as I told you before and after that fire, there weren't many trees left under which to take refugee from the burning sun. And at the same time, we also wanted to be close to the water. And this little corner of the dam met all our requirements. So here we stayed and dug into the water. Before eating, we took another dip because we were be rowing for a long time under that scorching sun of a Spanish August. And I assure you that we got a lot of warm. Baloo will go crazy. He was a dog that couldn't be separated from his mom. And he didn't care how far Rebecca went. And whether it was in a lake, river or beach. Baloo would throw himself and swim as far as he could with such to be with her. Buster thinks it a little more to get into the water, so we brought him his life jacket, at that time still in the testing phase, after a modification we made to give it greater buoyancy, and although the invention never worked because it was somewhat uncomfortable for him and far from help him float, it bothered him and he preferred to get out of the water. Even so, my baby pleased me a bit and he was with me for a little while. Yes, on top of me, if he don't have to swim, much better. <laughs> then we put our human vest on Baloo and I thought it fit him a little weird Baloo didn't look back when it came to getting into the water. He loved it. And now, yes, time to eat, because as you well know, the water makes you very hungry. And hey, the rowing exercise burns a lot. So we were already very hungry. We improvised a couple of comfortable seats on the rocks using the life jacket and the inflatable kayak seat. And we enjoy our premium salad, as we can't imagine. The truth is that in nature, everything tastes better. And even better because it was fresh because we carry the cooler. Buster, as always, begging to be given anything. He literally ate a piece of lettuce. Such an eternal starving dog. As you can see, we were well prepared. We even had watermelon for dessert that tasted delicious with that heat that it was doing. That even makes my mouth water just remembering it. And of course, Buster begging until he succeeds. And we know he loves the watermelon. He ate his ration and balloons, who surprisingly refused us. It must be said that the gentleman was very picky with food. Time to have fun around for a while and enjoy the spot, which even had jump points to jump into the water. Baloo and Rebe were having a great time, and as I told you, Baloo did not hesitate when it came to jumping into the water. We would throw the sticks and he would go for them by jumping into the water as many times as necessary. And what to say if Rebe jumped? There he was behind her. Hey. A boat passed by that offers tours of the dam, and after its passengers took some pictures of us as if we were monkeys that were part of the landscape, 
And no, there is no monkeys there. A few seconds later, the waves generated by the boat began to reach us as it passed, putting our little boats in a little trouble. To our boats and to Baloo, the poor baby got scared with the onslaught of water. Begging him a bit with a stick, I managed to make him get on the kayak to have a little say with him. And this little dog was really the sweetest thing. He loved being with one, doing whatever it was. He always wanted to be part of whatever was happening. He did whatever it took to please you. And you can't imagine how we miss this blackie guy. Say hello, Z. Baloo got a stick that he saw floating in the water, so he jumped ashore to enjoy his fishing trophy. And now that I'm left alone in the kayak, well, time for me to do monkey things, which I also like to do a lot, until a small unforeseen event happened. The tourist boat passed by again, this time in the opposite direction, and the waves it generated caught me at the worst moment. So, monkeys to the water. And this is what I mean by Balu. really. No matter how far away Rebecca is, he jumps to the water in search of her. So he made an assisted boarding to the kayak. Bien. But he wasn't going to be the only one to do it. Call me ambitious if you want, but let's board in that boat. starting to stand up in the kayak. The truth is that she did quite well and with a little dance included. Of course, no boat waves. I already wanted to see her dancing up the kayak while a big catamaran passes you a few meters away. Hmm, it was too easy. I wanted to boycott her so that she would be shipwrecked as happened to me, but the shipwrecked person ended up being me. Again! However, she backfired. Do you see? As he sees Rebecca in trouble, Baloo runs, well, swims to the rescue, and his mother melted with him. And rightly so, he was so, so perfect and lovely doggy. to return to the mainland, which was going to be somewhat more complicated since the afternoon and air begins to rise and curiously always catches us against. And although you don't think so, we had gone quite far from the starting point. We made a technical stop half away to change kayaks. Honestly, I don't remember for what reason. But this time I took Baloo and as soon as we left, we had a little situation. The kayak suddenly started to deflate, but luckily we only lost a few cubic centimeters of air. From this world. We paddled it hard to become those Elysian winds and finally we came back. 
Of course, before leaving, we could not miss a last jump into the water, because the heat was still pounding and nothing better to combat it than a good and last dip before leaving. Okay, vamos allá. Thank you very much for joining us on this doggy adventure with Abad Up, a precious memory with our beloved Baloo, who, as many of you know, unfortunately was diagnosed with cancer shortly after arriving in Costa Rica. And after four months of fighting, finally he didn't make it. Our baby left when he was just five years old, leaving a huge void in our hearts. But it makes us smile to think that we gave him the best life we could, that he enjoyed like crazy, traveled and met beautiful places, and he never lacked for anything, above all, of love. Please leave your comments. It is always a pleasure to read you. Also hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. And if so, here I leave you a couple of videos that you probably also like. I send you a big, big hug and see you very soon.